If you're trying to get a Logitech G29 920 or 923 steering wheel to work and it's not showing up in G Hub or it's not working in G Hub as it uh, really should, then chances are you're probably doing something wrong or the wheel isn't getting power. So the first thing uh, that I would really suggest you to do is to check power. When you plug in the wheel uh, into your PC, it should do a full nine, uh, 450 degrees of rotation on uh, both the left and the right uh, in order to calibrate itself. And that's a sign that the wheel is in fact getting power when you plug it in. Uh, another thing to do uh, is to make sure that you're plugging in the wheel directly into your PC and not using a USB-C hub or anything like that because those can often tend to drop power and connections when working with heavy uh, devices like uh, this one. So the next thing uh, you need to do is uh, if it's not showing up in G-Hub, if you can't see uh, your uh, wheel showing up in G-Hub, uh, what you're going to do is press the Windows key and search for USB game controllers and you will actually see this window right here set up USB game controller. So if you go here, you should see uh, the G-Hub uh, wheel uh, G29 show up right here. Uh, even if it doesn't show up here, as long as it shows up in this window, you are good to go. And then you can click on properties and uh, you can rotate everything around, have the accelerator and the brake check and then check all of your buttons as well. So uh, this kind of goes on to show that uh, your wheel is in fact working as it should. And then at that point, if it doesn't show up in G-Hub, uh, what you can actually do uh, is that you can either completely close G-Hub and uh, restart it. So we can do that by heading over to this window, right clicking and then selecting the quit option right here. Or uh, what you can try is to uh, use the task manager instead. So head over to the, just right click the windows start menu icon right here. Click on task manager and we'll give it a second to load up. All right. Uh, and then in here, we're just going to search for G Hub and uh, just close all G Hub related processes, uh, especially the background processes. So uh, just select this, just going to select this, go ahead and end task, then app, go ahead and end task. And uh, as soon as all G Hub processes are closed, you can zoom back out and then restart G Hub. So let's give it a second to load up again and uh, you should see your wheel show up in G-Hub without any problems. Uh, if it doesn't work here as well, then uh, chances are Steam could be interfering with G-Hub. So Steam has a built-in controller support that can sometimes cause issues with uh, steering wheels, uh, off-brand controllers and a lot of other stuff. So it's advisable that you turn it off if you have Steam or if you're playing a Steam game. How do we do that? Well, the first thing is to obviously we're going to start Steam up. Uh, haven't started this one in a minute, so it's going to take a while. All right, so once you've got uh, Steam open, just head over to the top uh, left section and click on the Steam icon right here, and then click on Settings. Uh, in the Settings, head over to the Controller section, and then you will see a bunch of different external gamepad settings. So uh, Steam input for Xbox controllers, turn it off. Uh, PlayStation controller support not enabled. Uh, Steam input for generic controllers off. Switch Pro controllers off. This should not affect uh, ideally your uh, wheel, but just in case you're playing a Steam game and it doesn't seem to be showing up, try disabling all of these settings and then uh, saving these changes and then relaunching the game and relaunching G Hub to make sure that you get things up and running. Now, the last fix, if you've tried everything and you've failed, uh, is to actually make some registry changes and delete the wheel from uh, your Windows registry. Now, to do this, depending on whether you have the G923 Xbox, G923 PlayStation, the G29 or the G920, uh, the name for this is going to be different. I'm going to have uh, going to link the registry paths for all four wheels in the description below. But essentially what you have to do is press the Windows key, search for registry editor and open this up, ask you for permissions. All right. And once this is open, what we are going to do is uh, just 
head all the way to the top, close everything. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to computer, then H key current user, then we're going to system, current control set, then we're going to uh, control, right? It's going to expand control. We're going to media properties, then private properties, then joystick, then OEM, and you will see a bunch of different uh, registry entries here. Now you will identify your wheel by the last four characters that are at the end of all of this. So for my wheel, the G29, I'm looking for C24F, which is this one right here. And as you can see, this is the G Hub uh, racing wheel that I have. Uh, of course, if you have the other wheel, if you have the G923Xbox, you're going to look for C26E. If you have the G923 PlayStation version, you're going to look for C266. And if you have the G920, you're going to look for C262. Once again, all of these uh, registry uh, URLs and links and names will be linked in the description below. So go check that out if you have any confusions. All right. Once you're here, what we're going to do is right click and then delete this entry. Once this entry is deleted, your wheel will stop working. Uh, so don't do this if uh, you're just watching it for the heck of it. Uh, and don't do this until you have no other options left because you may just break your wheel or uh, render it useless unless you restart your PC and then reconnect it and have it show up as a new device, which is what we're going to do. So delete this registry key. And once this registry key is gone, shut down everything, restart your PC and uh, then reconnect your wheel and it should start showing up in uh, G-Hub without any issues. Uh, last but not least, if nothing else works, your best option is to uh, try and reinstall uh, G-Hub. Now, uh, reinstalling G-Hub is very easy. It's just press Windows key plus X and head over to installed apps right here. Uh, all right, now we're going to search for uh, G-Hub in this list. We'll find it right here, go all the way to the other side, click on uninstall and then click on uninstall again. And then you can head over to the official uh, G Hub website from Logitech. Uh, once again, link in the description below and download the latest version of G Hub, install it and have it running to hopefully fix your problems. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what most this videos can we make for you. If you have any questions, if something didn't work out for you, do let us know in the comments and let's get a discussion going. Uh, if you want to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next one.